Hello YouTube, it's Katie and welcome to the video. Today we are going to be talking about Jeffree Star and Shane Dawson while I open up old Ipsy packages. Now, I cancelled my Ipsy subscription months ago. Like, probably over a year ago. So long ago. But there's two packages that I never opened for some reason. I was saving them for a special occasion, and then I was just continuing to save them for a special occasion, and then I started this channel and said I should open them on this channel. But then I needed a reason to open them. Like, I didn't want to just open them. That's such old tea. So then I was like, okay, what if I open them while I talk about something in the beauty community that I'm passionate about? And then I was like, well, I could talk about Jeffree Star. I could go on about him for days. But then I was waiting for him to be relevant, and then I... Uh, there's a lot of reasons why I haven't opened these yet, but here they are. I'll show you the back so you can't see my address, but they're Ipsy packages. Um, one is from January 4th, 2018. It is currently November 12th, 2019, so nearly a year ago. And this other one looks more faded than this one, so I'm assuming it's from even earlier. But there's no date on this one. So yeah, the January and like maybe the December Ipsy. Big yikes, but it's okay. We're gonna open them today and talk about Jeffree Star right after I take this jacket off because I'm hot. It's cute, but I'm hot. I feel like I have no choice but to preface this video with telling you guys my opinion of Shane Dawson and Jeffree Star because my opinions on the palette are gonna be based on my opinions on them. So I don't know if you can see me. You might be blind. You might be blind. Or maybe your computer's messed up. I don't know. But those of you who can see me can probably tell that I'm black. In other words, African American, even though I consider myself Caribbean, but whatever. <laughs> so I, as a black woman, don't really love Jeffree Star, and that's kind of a common thread between all of us. We're not super big fans of his, and I need to be higher. <sighs> yeah, so black women and Jeffree Star just don't really get along, and I have not liked Jeffree Star for all of the obvious reasons. I have, however, not felt such um, anger, dislike towards Shane Dawson, and I feel like that needs explaining or else this like doesn't make any sense. So Shane Dawson's main issue, the main reason he comes up under fire, the main reason he's like under controversy all the time, is because of his past jokes, basically. Um, he has done like comedy skits that involve painting his face black, acting a stereotypical black person, basically blackface, and just saying the n-word and just all, all things of that manner, of that nature. And the reason that I and more forgiving of those actions and more accepting of his apology for said actions is because I believe that Shane Dawson was more so a product of his times. He wanted to be a comedian, he wanted people to find him funny, and in the early 2000s, late 90s, people found black people funny. We were the butt of their jokes. Asians were the butts of the jokes. Hispanics, uh, Middle Easterners, we were the butts of white people's jokes. That's, that's what they found funny, that's what they laughed at. They say there is truth in comedy, and back then the truth was they thought we were all a joke. So <laughs> I'm more forgiving of that because I feel like he was doing what was funny and what seemed like he had, what seemed like the only choice to him at the time. Like, I don't want to sit here and throw shots because that's not what this is about, but I don't find Shane Dawson's old content all that funny. So without the, like, comedian talent to tell any kind of jokes. He kind of had to tell outrage jokes because those were the only things that would get him a laugh, I think. So I'm more forgiving of that just because it's a part of his time. So if he did that today, it would be a different story because the political climate is different today. But at the time, that's what people laughed at. That's what got him a career. That's what was considered justified in white people's eyes. That's what didn't have enough people talking about it for white people to know why it wasn't justified. So I, I feel like I can't really blame him for that because everybody else did that. Were they right in doing it? No. <laughs> but it's it's interpreted differently for them because they look at it as oh just jokes. Oh just funny. Oh just kiki ha 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 hilarious. <laughs> and, and there's nothing really telling them at that time that it's not just jokes. So it's kind of why I'm like okay 
you did what you did. You don't do it anymore. You apologize for it. It made sense at the time. It made sense for how old you are. It made sense for what year it was. I'm willing to let that one go and move forward. And so I genuinely didn't have a problem with Shane Dawson prior to this. We'll, we'll get into my problem with him now, but that's not... That's for later. So I didn't really have a problem with Shane Dawson prior to this stuff. I have not started opening these Ipsy packages. Let's pick one up. I didn't have a problem with Shane. I just thought that his comedy was tasteless and tacky and unfunny and not for me. But he was fine. It was whatever. So this is the bag. Ooh, this is cute. I love the bags. I use them in like my purse where I'll put some stuff in one of these little bags and put it in my purse so that if ever I have to like only have one little bit and I can't bring my whole purse, I can just grab the little bag and it'll have like an ID and wallet, my lotion, my essentials. And I feel a box in here which is suspicious, but this is the bag. It's purple with black hearts. It's got a gold zip and it says Ipsy on the zip like all the bags do. But yeah, um, so, forgot what I was saying. Basically, I didn't have a problem with Shane until recently, which we'll get into. So my problem with Jeffrey was a bit different because Jeffrey similarly did the comedy skits, which I similarly was like, that's a product of his times. I can't be too, too mad at him for that. Like, I don't... People look back at older stuff, like Moby Dick, and they're like, they say the N-word so many times in Moby Dick, and it's like, yeah, look at when that book was written. Like, that's what they said. That's the best that could be done. So... When I say it's a product of their times, I mean, like, I don't expect people to be ahead of their times. If they are, great. But if they're not, why would they be? So that's why I'm not mad at the comedy skits so much. So much. I still need my genuine apology, but once I got that, I was like, okay, we'll see where you go from here. Um, the thing with Jeffrey is the comedy skits is not his only controversy. He's also had saying the N-word on the streets, cursing people, whatever. And Jeffrey has addressed this in both his apology video and in his Shane docu series. But here's the thing he said in the docu series: he pointed out that specifically when he was saying that he wasn't talking about black people, which I don't know why nobody sees how that makes it worse. Like if you are calling a non-black person a racial slur for black people, you are saying to them, not only are you black, which is already bad. You're, you're already oh for one. Not only are you black, but you're this racial slur kind of black person. Like, it's a double whammy. So, I don't really care that you were talking to white girls. That 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 makes it worse, to be honest. <laughs> Comment down below if that makes it worse for you. Because it makes it worse for me, but no one else seems to have ever said that before. I don't see why that was something worth bringing up. Um, But that's not even, like, to me... I just don't really forgive that. I just don't. Like, even at the time, even, I don't want to say at Jeffrey's age, because he was a whole adult. So as an adult, even in the early 2000s, it still wasn't considered acceptable. So you still did it. You knew it was wrong, and you did it anyway. You knew it was offensive, as you admitted, and you said it anyway. So I don't really, like, what is there, I, <laughs> there's no gray area for me on that. You, you did wrong against me and my peoples. So I'm through with you. It's simple. Do you like my balloons? It was recently my birthday. Vlog coming out at some point. <laughs> um, we're opening the empty package now. So I just can't... There, I, There's nothing to forgive. You said the N-word, that's it. Like, I'm done. That's kind of how I go. You say it, goodbye. That there's no in-between. No... No, there is no. Unless it was for a joke, then we can talk, then I'll consider your case. Otherwise, I have nothing to say to you. This is cute. It's like a little text message thing. This is the Ipsy card they always include. Yeah, this was Thanksgiving. So this is from November. The undated one is from November. The other one is from January. So I opened the December one. <laughs> Um, happy Friendsgiving, say what you're thankful for, and five emojis. Friends, choose pizza, rain, and lipstick. <laughs> There's no emoji for highlighter. Foolery. Anyway. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's 
my thing with Jeffrey. He said it and then done. It wasn't a product of his times that made him, I mean, it was, but even at the time it was inappropriate and offensive. So you still did it at the time, like it was wrong then, it's still wrong now. There's there's no, oh, you know, at the time it wasn't so bad, like no, it, no. So I really have nothing to say to that. And a lot of people, a lot of Caucasian people to be specific, a lot of people love to say, well, he apologized. And? And? Your point lies aware. Let me locate your logic, because all you said was he apologized. I know. I don't care. I. There's something in there. Let's grab the product. I'm doing a lot. All right, I grabbed the box. It's this. <gasps> what? This is a Huda Beauty lipstick. I feel like Huda Beauty is controversial, but I don't really remember their controversy, so I don't know if I should be mad at this or not. But it's a Huda Beauty metallic lip gloss. Is this expired? Absolutely. Am I still going to use it? Absolutely. It is, they sent me a dark one too. It's, this metallic thing is really cool. It's like, right right and then they sent me a ooh. i thought the case was round but it's like a rectangular glass and then a round like lipstick in there so the rectangle is cool huda beauty lip strobe this is probably controversial but until i remember why and decide if i care i'm just gonna swatch it mm. Mm, she smells like vanilla Ooh, ooh, y'all can't tell me nothing, nothing. I'm gonna try this on my face when we're done, but you really cannot tell me a thing with that. And it smells good, ooh. Ooh, y'all finna be mad when I put that on if this really is controversial and I don't remember. Y'all finna be mad. <laughs> um. Well, I need to take this off my wrist now so I don't spread it everywhere, so give me a second. So people love to say that J-Star apologized, and I love to tell them that that means nothing to me. And here's why. When I give an apology, it is because I am sorry for what I did, and I want the person to know that I am sorry for what I did. That is why I issue an apology. There is no other reason. I do not issue an apology to be forgiven. Being forgiven is cute. Being forgiven is great. If you want to forgive me, fantastic. That's great. That's what I'm hoping for. That's what I would like. But that's not why I apologize to you. I apologize to you because I am sorry for what I did to you. The same applies to Jeffrey. So he can apologize all day, all year, all century, all millennium. He can apologize for as long as he wants. That doesn't mean I have to forgive him. No one seems to point this out, except, you know, a few a black women on YouTube, like Amanda BB. I've been watching her videos lately. She pointed this out. But no one, everyone wants to skip over this. I don't have to forgive you. I do not. It's not a requirement. And I'm not doing it. And that should be fine with you. If you are genuinely giving a mature apology and you are genuinely sorry, then however I interpret it should be fine with you. You should have no problem with that. I shouldn't hear you coming on the Shane series saying in episode four, I think, the truth about Jeffree Star. You shouldn't be saying, I apologize, so why am I still getting hate? Why does that matter to you? What is the correlation between your apology and the hate? Apologies don't negate what you did. Apologies don't negate how you made people... Sorry for this vibrating noise. My phone is going off. Apologies don't negate how you made people feel. So you can apologize all day long that doesn't mean anybody has to forgive you. They are not obligated to do so. And if they choose not to, that is their choice. And you, as a mature person who has genuinely apologized, should accept that. I shouldn't hear you complaining. 
I should not hear you complaining. I should not hear any, I apologize, so leave me alone. That's not how this works. You apologize because you were sorry. There is no so, it's a because. You did it because you were sorry. The so is determined by us, not by you. Point and blank, period, end of sentence. And as I was looking up the Shane Dawson series and re-watching this segment in preparation and research for this video, I saw a comment, because I decided, you know, what are people saying about this? I saw a comment by a person, I will not give their name, uh, my laptop's over here, I will not give their name, but, oh, oh, okay. I was wrong. I looked at the wrong thing. I will not give their name and they have no profile picture, so I do not know their race. But what they said was, and I quote, whoever still hates him, in reference to Jeffrey, after this video, are dead to me. We're going to call this person King. No, we're not. <laughs> we're going to call this person Peasant. Whoever still hates him after this video are dead to me. Okay, peasant. That's fine. I don't care if I'm dead to you. I don't know you. I don't care about you at all. You, you're dead to me. Do you care? No. Like, logic. And secondly, peasant, what? Huh? Who are you? Is my question. Because if you are a black person, namely a black woman, because most black people buying makeup are women, if you are a black person, who are you to try and dictate how other black people feel? You should understand where we're coming from as a black person, and we shouldn't have to have this talk. And if you are a non-black person, as I think you are, and as I'm scrolling through these very supportive of Jeffrey comments, most of the profile pictures show non-black people in the pictures, in their profile pictures, so I have to assume that they are. Why are you telling me how I should feel when this has nothing to do with you? I feel like the Shane series was very convenient for white people. Very convenient. Namely the white girls in my class who would buy <sighs> Jeffree Star makeup. And that is a story that I'm not going to get into because we don't have time because this video will be long. But I... I just find that the series is convenient. It works really well in their favor, and in Shane's favor, and in Jeffrey's favor, in the sense that it paints Jeffrey in this bad light, makes him look like he's, not look like, but shows how he's had such a hard, bad life and a rough time, makes excuses and explanations for his actions, and makes it out to be, you know, he's sorry, so let that go. You know, forget about that. We're moving past that. That's how the series goes. It's not build your own opinion. It's not feel how you feel. It's that's done. Forget it. Get over it. And that's how these comments are going as well. It's done. Forget it and get over it. If you're if you don't support him, you're dead to me. And that's convenient for white people because now they can say, look at Jeffrey. He's had a hard life and he apologized for what he did. So if you don't support him, you're the wrong one. You're the bad person. You're the one doing wrong. You can't turn it on me anymore. When I show up in my Jeffree Star lipstick and you want to look at me sideways because I'm supporting a racist, you can't look at me like that anymore. Because Shane made a, made a docu-series. So you're dead to me. You don't matter to me. You never did in the first place. But now it's legitimate for me to say it. Because there's a docu-series that supports my claims. Very convenient. We're going to pull the next product. It's this. I don't know what it is. Ugh. They always do this. Ipsy, I told you my skin tone. And you always do this. They always got me looking ashy. Unless this is concealer, I just... This is foundation by Ultra H Makeup Forever, their Ultra HD um, Invisible Cover Foundation. Do y'all see this shade? Do y'all see my skin? I don't think this is going to work out, but we'll give it a shot. Oh, okay. This is a little sample size. She got a pump. <coughs> 
Y'all have seen these. Y'all seen the beauty videos. You know what this thing looks like. Okay. This is in the shade... I don't know, probably mocha or something. Coffee. Deep dark. Oh. Y505. Um... There it is, just like globbed on, globbed on, and well, well, it blends in pretty decently with the light part of my arm. The dark part of my arm, it really stands out. So I think that I'm correct in saying this is not my color, but we'll see. We'll see in the end. It's just a sample size. I'm not mad. Ipsy did their best. <laughs> they don't know me. They don't know my life. So not only is this series convenient, but I don't understand why white people are giving their input, giving their opinions, saying, if you don't forgive him, blah, blah, blah. That implies that you forgive him, peasant, but you had nothing to forgive. Assuming you are white, as I am, if you're not white, then we can talk about a different comment. We can talk about the one right under you by a white man who we will call Cheese. She says he may be gay, he may be rich, he may be vulgar, but he's just like everyone else. Giving validity to Jeffrey. Okay, cheese. Why are you giving validity to Jeffrey? Did Jeffrey ever become invalid to you? Because I don't think he did. And if he did, I'd have to ask why, because you're not black. It doesn't affect you at all. This, I need to stop with my phone. Like, what are you doing? Stop talking to me. To make a comparison, because that's what I like to do, it would be like me telling Jeffree Star, you know what, you need to eat Chick-fil-A. You need to go to Chick-fil-A and eat their sandwiches. If you haven't forgiven Chick-fil-A, you're dead to me. Chick-fil-A CEO may be a white man, he may be straight, he may be cisgender, and he may be homophobic, but he released a public apology. So he's just like everyone else, and you need to eat at Chick-fil-A. Because I forgave him, so you forgive him. What does my forgiveness have to do with anything? I'm not gay. I was never offended. There was nothing for me to forgive. Was I outraged? Sure. Did I agree with their statements? No. Did I agree with their sentiments? No. But is it my place to decide how those offended feel about this? No, because I was not offended. So cheese, peasant, you weren't offended. Why, did, why are you even making opinions? Why are you making statements? I know it's convenient for you now because you can do it with the support of Shane and all of the internet and no one's going to look at you funny. But why, why are you acting like you were the one offended? Like you are the one who gets to decide when everyone else should stop being offended. I'm confused. I don't understand. Locate the logic. I, I don't get it. What accent was that? <laughs> Let's get another product. I'm losing it. I got a little square box. This is probably an eyeshadow or a powder. It's an eyeshadow. Okay, I thought it was a powder and I was going to be mad. Um, it's by Helios Helios Beauty. Um, I only, the shade I only fly first is their cream to powder eyeshadow. And I'm probably going to love it because Ipsy, one thing they do is send me good eyeshadows. They don't send me nothing ashy, which we will get into when we talk about the palette. This is going to be a really long video. She's stuck in the box. Um, yeah, I just, white people, you are not the ones offended, so you are not the gatekeepers of when the offense ends and when we should stop being mad. I don't really want to hear what cheese and peasant have to say. I don't care what cheese and peasant have to say. Cheese and peasant are not black women, or black people, I should say, who were offended by this man. So I, I don't... Why? This is, like, stuck in this box. I'm gonna have to just tear this box apart. Like, I can't... Why is the box so small? <laughs> There's a shade. It's like a purpley brown shimmer. 
and there's a swatch. She is gorgeous, and I swatched like hardly any shadow at all. Like she's a pigmented girl, and it looks more brown on camera than I think it is. It's actually showing up a little purple. This is nice. Doesn't smell like anything. This is nice. We like this. We love her. Next. Opening Ipsy packages is so exciting. I should get Ipsy again one day if I ever get a job and some money. This video is not sponsored, by the way. <laughs> Obviously. It's probably getting like six views. One of two things is going to happen with this video. Either A, I'm going to get my usual four views and no one's going to see this and I'm going to get this off my chest and move on with my life. Or B, because of the titles, because of the names that are in the title, all of the Jeffree Star Shane Dawson stands are going to come attack me. But I'm going to get a lot of engagement for my channel. So I'm kind of fine either way. We'll see what happens though. Pretty sure A. Pretty sure nobody's going to see this or care. <sighs> Now, what's my next talking point? I have a lot in this brain, but it's hard to, like, categorize it and, like, say it in a way that makes cohesive sense. Oh! Okay. Here's another thing. I guess I'm kind of starting this video out by talking about the docuseries. This might become a multi-part video if this is just too long of a segment. But anyways. Let's go. Let's go back again to the docu series. All right. Here's another comment. This is the one above peasant, and this is left by bag. We have peasant bag and cheese. Um, bag says, and no one ever asked why. That's a quote. Quote, and no one ever asked why. End quote. That gets me every time. He's so relatable. What bag is referring to is when Jeffrey says, I. I'll just get a clip for you. Shows that I would never wear short sleeves and no one ever asked why. So what he means by I would never wear short sleeves and no one ever asked why, that was Jeffrey's way of saying I was cutting my arms, wrist, whole body basically. And I would always wear long clothes to cover that up. And no one ever asked why I always wore long clothes. No one cared about me. I was all alone. That's what he's saying. Okay? Here's my thing. I don't know Jeffree Star personally. That is something I have to admit. I don't know that man. I don't know his life. I don't know Shane Dawson. I don't know his life. I don't know them. And because I don't know them, I don't actually have any hard evidence that they are or aren't racist, problematic, stereotypical, prejudiced, whatever. I don't have it. It doesn't exist. You don't have it either. And you can't tell me they're not. You don't have any proof of that either because you don't know them. I don't know them, you don't know them. We're in the same place. We have to assume what we have based off what we see. So, if Jeffrey is genuinely not racist, if he has learned from his past mistakes, if he is genuinely apologetic for what he did, genuinely wishes he could take it back, genuinely didn't want to offend anybody, then I don't wish this on him. I don't wish mental health struggles on him. I don't wish loneliness on him. I don't wish cutting and suicide on him. I don't. If he is racist, I'm not going to wish it on him, but whatever happens, happens. And you know, they addressed it in the video. Jeffrey wanted to say, I didn't want to bring all this stuff up, my cutting and my dad's suicide and all this stuff. I didn't want to bring it up because it would make it seem like I was trying to validate what I was saying. Um, like, it would make it seem like I was trying to put pity on myself as I was trying to apologize for what I've done in the past. However, he still brings it up. Not only does he still bring it up, but he still brings it up as he is trying to apologize for what he's done in the past. Like, this docuseries is hours long, and you chose two seconds after you finished explaining all of the racist stuff you did to bring up your depression. Why is that, Jeffrey? That sounds very convenient to me. So convenient, and you want to address it beforehand so that anyone who was going to say, well, he just did that to make us feel bad for him. He could say, no, I addressed it. Just because you addressed it doesn't mean it didn't still happen. And two seconds after you, after you explained the battery acid, after you explained saying the N-word, after you explained your segments and your old jokes, that is when you choose to go into your self-harm then? Then, 
you wouldn't even fully finish the apology. You just you just threw on this guilt. You just threw it on so that people like Bag would feel manipulated and inclined to say, you know what? Not Bag. People like Cheese. You know what? Jeffrey's just like us. Or people like Bag to say, you know what? No one ever asked him why. That's so sad. He was so alone and so hurt. It's no wonder he did these terrible things. You still did it, Jeffrey. I don't care that you addressed it. You had a whole, what is this, three-hour-long docu-series, in which case you could have had it. You could have easily said, Shane, I want to take a second to open up about my dad and my mental health problems and my tattoos. Okay, we'll get you an episode for that. Or we'll put that at the end of one of these other boring episodes where we're, like, doing a house tour that nobody asked for. We'll do that then, instead of right now. But no, 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 no. Couldn't have that. Couldn't have that. Not convenient enough. <laughs> Let me get the next product. I am really losing it. Oh my days. I've never talked about this at length like this. And this is just a lot. All right. I've got a little tube of whatever. This is. I'm letting you guys see it before I do, obviously. This is a liquid highlight by The Bomb. It's the Bonnie Dew Manizer. That might be another language. Um. I'm trying to look for a shade name for you guys. I don't see one. Okay, it's the Bombs, like, golden liquid highlighter. I have a feeling this is going to be maybe slightly ashy. I'm going to try it on the back of my hand instead of here because this is a completely different color than my face. So we're going to try it on the back of my hand. Might be a little ashy. Might still be wearable, but we'll see. Oh, I expected a rollerball, but it's like a lipstick thingy. Oh, well, okay, I put a little bit of it on my hand and it is very bright compared to my hand. Not ashy though because it's so incredibly bright. If we blend it out a bit, what's going to happen? Um, um, I... We'll see how this looks on the face. I can't tell if it's ashy or not. If it's not ashy, I think it's very shimmery, very pretty. A little hard to get an even blend, but very, very pretty. So we'll see what that looks like on the face. I'm on a skincare journey right now, by the way, and I kind of want to wash my face again just because I'm excited about it. So yes, I am going to put these products on my face just because I'm ready to wash my face. Um... Okay, next talking point. You know what, though? Shane is good at editing. Whoever helps him, I forget the cameraman's name. He's good at editing. And they got me a little bit. They got me a little bit where I was like, you know what? Maybe I'll consider forgiving Jeffree Star. He apologized all those years ago, and now he's taking the time out of his day to make this docuseries. Even though, you know, the only people who were mad were black people. And if he was racist, he really wouldn't care about us anyway. So maybe, just maybe, I'll consider forgiving him. I was going to consider considering it, if that makes sense. <laughs> um, and there's a reason why Jeffrey's words affected me so much. Like, not even his words. Like, calling someone the N-word, that doesn't offend me. I kind of don't care. It's more so just everything that that brings up. And just... The general sense of black people don't matter that that makes me feel which I will get into in a whole another video I want to make a series of videos on my black experience we'll talk about that there the makeup industry and just all of that we'll talk about that there so stay tuned for that video to get more insight into why just him saying the n-word is such like a big factor for me because it is um, but they're good at editing and I was kind of like you know what Maybe I might think this over. Over. Maybe I might think this over. Maybe. But then he called Jackie Ina a gorilla. And that was all I needed. You apologize, then you apologize again with your friend, and then you, you still did it. You still did it, though. You, you, you did the thing you said you weren't going to do anymore. And I know it's kind of an ambiguous story of, like, did he really call Jackie on a gorilla? Did he not? Did he... 
just his general disdain for Jackie Aina is questionable to me. And I think it is proven that he called her a brat for certain, which isn't inherently racist, but a heavy insult to my black queen. And then to call her a gorilla is obviously racist. So I, I really hope I don't have to explain that to you. I hope that people know calling black people monkeys, chimps, gorillas, apes, anything like that, a primate is racist. I hope we're on the same page. I hope I don't have to explain that to you. So that was all I needed. That was the icing on the very tall cake for me. Icing on the very tall cake. And I was like, okay, so you're still doing these actions and I'm done. And here's another thing that people love to just like forget or just like say that doesn't make any sense. People love to act like being racist, being homophobic, misogynistic, any of the, any of the istics, the isms. People love to act like they're just accidents. They're just slip-ups. They just happen. They just, oh, oopsie daisies, haha, me not. No, honey. No. You would not make jokes about black people if you didn't think black people were worthy of being made fun of. If you didn't think the fact that their skin was dark was funny, you wouldn't make a joke about it, because that doesn't make any sense. You wouldn't say the N-word if you didn't say it regularly. Words you don't say don't just come out of your mouth, especially when you're angry. You don't just make words up. Unless you said it regularly, it wouldn't come out of your mouth now. That's not how this works, honey. That's not how this works. Jackie Aina looks nothing like a monkey, nothing like a gorilla. You wouldn't compare her to that. Unless it was for the racist undertone, because she doesn't look like one. If her face resembled one, we could we could we could talk. But it doesn't. So there's nothing there. So the gorilla comment was really all I needed. Because I know that racism is not an accident. That's not just an oopsies. That's not that's a mistake I made when I was a child. That was all those years ago and I'm a changed person. I know that these things are habitual. Activity. All right, so here's what I came up with after testing the products. This is the hoodie. <laughs> this is the Huda Beauty lip, which I really like. Honestly, it's not too light on me. It's a little weird, but it, it could be worse. And I think that this would be good, like in the middle of my lip, compared to something else. The purple eyeshadow. I don't know how well you can see it because my camera is. Mm. But I think it's really pretty. And then this highlighter, which is so bright. Like, it's ashy, but it's so bright that it's not. Like, it's not, this color doesn't work for me, but it's just so bright that it doesn't even make any sense. Like, that's how I feel about that. Oh, and down here is the foundation. It actually works. It blends pretty well. It looks like my skin tone. You can see the clear line. Because, like, I have not only hair, but hyperpigmentation right here, making a natural contour on my face. You can see it on, on this side, too. So you can see, like, clearly where my skin was and this. This matches pretty well. And, like, it matches this tone right here. It's pretty good. It matches my neck. So I was wrong. I was wrong, y'all. I was proved incorrect. Ipsy knows me. Ipsy knows my life. Ipsy has seen me. And they sent me the correct color. Thank you, girl. Now, <laughs> I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. In case, we'll be talking about my issues with the Shane series. And we might get into my issues with the palette. But that might have to be a part three. We'll see. But I'll see you next time. We'll be talking about why I've started to dislike Shane and my issues with the palette series all right so i'll catch you guys in that video make sure you watch it and until then toodaloo oh um click some links i'm gonna like put some end card stuff over there so if you can click it that'd be fantastic or you can just click onto the next video of this series if it's uploaded yet i'll put it in the description it might be in the card right there it might be in the recommended videos. If not, you can click me on KG. You can just click that and it'll take you to all my videos. You can find it yourself. Please watch the next part. It's going to be a doozy, okay? I'll see you guys there.